Hi, I'm one of the homeowners here at New Park Village and I just figured out how to change my air filter in the furnace. So there's a one tricky thing so I wanted to show you how to do that so hopefully it'll be easier for everybody else that comes after. So uh, first of all I want to show you a diagram. This is the furnace that I have and hopefully it's the same one that you have. Uh, what's important here is that you need to open this top uh, access panel in order to get to these filters and they're actually a little bit awkward they're up above there's two of them and they sit in a V shape so there's one here and one here and so what we're gonna do is you need to open this up and I'm not gonna show this because it's too hard you need to open this up and then just basically rip these two out and there's usually stuff on the right hand side so it's easier if you kind of kind of rip them out and pull them down to this left side and then I'm gonna show you how to insert two new ones okay so, uh, find your filter door, uh, your furnace door, which for me is on the second floor. And the first thing you want to do is unplug the furnace. So the, the thing comes off here, off the right side of the furnace, and you want to unplug it like this. Then here's the access panel, and what, we'll have, what you do is stick your fingers here at the lip, uh, and then just lift up. And uh, it's a little bit heavy, so be careful. Set that off to the side. And again, I'm not going to show you how to take those out because it's, it's pretty impossible to show in the video, but they're up there. It's those blue things up there. And you can kind of see that there's this support here in the middle, this thing right here. I'm trying to show it with the flashlight. And that's what the filters have to sit on. That's what supports them. So uh, pretend that we've ripped them out. And then what you're going to do is, again, you can see there's this box here. So it's a little bit crowded on the right. So I'd recommend putting them both in from the left side. So what you do is take your filter and uh, you need to set it this way. So short, shorter side is vertical. And the airflow arrow for the right hand filter needs to point to the right. And Similarly, for the left-hand one, the arrow needs to point to the left. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide this in, kind of re just reverse the steps that you did, and then you're going to tilt it a little bit this way, push it up, over, and then get it to sit in that channel support that's here in the middle. So this one's going to sit like this. The other one, you're going to have the arrow facing to the left. You're going to slide it in, up, angle it and go up and then sit it right on that middle support so they should end up being like this and they kind of rest on the sides of this, this metal metal piece here so it's something like that and then uh, you just need to replace the access panel and there are these metal tabs here on both sides and there are slots here where they fit into so what you need to do is to put this about an inch or inch and a half above the final place so that those tabs can fit in and then just push down and then re-plug in. Now um, the probably the main thing that I learned from this is that the recommended size of filter is 16 by 20 by 1. So this dimension here is 16 inches. Now the problem is that it's so tight in mine um, that when I try to put it in, the only way to get it in, I don't know if you can see it's extremely tight, is I essentially have to bend it here in order to get it in, which I didn't really like. It's almost like breaking it in order to get it in because it's too, it's too wide. So what I did was um, at Lowe's online, uh, you can buy a 15 by 20 by 1. So it's just one inch shorter in this direction. So when I go up, it actually has enough clearance to neatly slide over. And the fact that it's it's just resting against this wall here. So it's okay that it's one inch shorter. I, I think, I mean, I'm not a professional HVAC person, but I think it's fine. It still filters just fine. So um, I'll put the link for this in the video, but it's in Lowe's online. I think it's called Flanders uh, 15 by 20 by 1 filter.
Yep. So, good luck changing your filters.